So pretty much had to replace one of the heads on the Elko. This side uh, had two studs broken off in the head. The other side had one stud broken off, but there's enough to grab it and get it out. But the reason I had to replace them was after it came back from the exhaust shop, I uh, kind of forgot that the studs were broken off, so didn't have enough bolts on this side. The other side had one bolt missing. Took around the block um, about a week, a week and a half after it came back from the exhaust shop. It's the first time really driving it. Took a buddy around the block in it and just kept hearing this popping sound. The car wasn't running right, or it wasn't running like it was running before the exhaust, so I knew it had to do something with the exhaust. So, pretty much found a set of headers, or a set of heads on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. Swap this head out. They're both the same A62s. So, swap this one out. Uh, still need to get gaskets for it, a couple bolts, and adjust the rockers. But, it's on there now. And hopefully, I'll get it all buttoned up tomorrow, adjust the rockers. Take it out and see if that popping sound is gone. No more exhaust leaks. And hopefully it should run right. I'll show you why I had to take them off. Because the two bolts here and this back one would have been impossible to get to. Even if I did have a welder. It's too close to the firewall. And you got the steering shaft there and everything. So... So I take the head off. Uh, I do have a set of new ones. Well, new used, but they do not have the bolts broken off in them. So I'm off to work. I'll finish it up. It's about time to throw them back on. You definitely see a difference. The new ones are a lot cleaner. Not sure if he cleaned them up before I got them from him or what, but there's a big difference. Both mark the same, A62, A62, but definitely a lot cleaner. So I'm going to throw these on. I'll get back to you guys. sure how I wanted to do this uh, stud if I wanted to just tack another stud on it with some threads and run a nut on that but a buddy let me borrow this stud remover tool wasn't sure how it was gonna work but got it clamped on and as you can see it's removing that stud pretty good so be able to get some new gaskets for the headers and put everything back together and no more exhaust leak so the car should be running good after that Alright, so now that all the broken studs are out and the new head is on, only thing left is um, I'm about to go get new gaskets and I think uh, either find the rest of the bolts or let's go get new um, bolts for the headers. I think I dropped one. It's somewhere. But um, obviously the other one was never in, so... I don't know if I have another one laying around or if I'm just going to have to go get some extra ones. Just have to adjust the rockers. Left them loose. And put the other header on this side. So I've got this side all buttoned up. Uh, rock arms adjusted. Valve cover back on. So you need to hook up the spark plug wires. But I was looking and... I think I figured out why it's not charging. I don't know how this wire got cut. Um, now I'm about to unravel all this, chase some wires down, and make sure it's connected to the starter. But um, once I do that, get that put back on, 
Then I'm gonna start it. Well, I'm gonna top it off with oil, uh, refill the coolant all the way up because you do lose a little bit when you take the head off. So I'm gonna check both of those and then run it for a little bit, see if it's charging or not. Um, should still be on a pretty good battery if it's uh, running right. Doesn't sound like any exhaust leaks. See how the gasket's on there. Got all the bolts on there this time. Um, doesn't sound like any exhaust leaks. I am going to take it around the block for a little bit before the weather gets there. But um, let me finish all this and let you guys know how it goes. Got it all buttoned up, got it wired up just temporarily. It uh, all I can find right now was an eight gauge wire. So for the length, that's a little uh, little thin, but uh, like I said, it's just temporary. See if everything works like this, and then I'll go and put everything in permanently, use a thicker gauge wire, and uh, see how it goes from there. But it is about nine o'clock. Pretty quiet neighborhood, but um, just gonna take it around the block, see what it does. And I'll get back to you guys. Try to do it right along, but it's gonna be kind of hard to uh, hold the camera, shift gears, and pay attention to everything. But I'll try to make it work. All right, not the most ideal spot, but uh, gonna have to do. We have power showing uh, 12.3 volts. Uh, we are showing 14, 14.3. So that means it is charging, which is good. Um, not that loud. So uh, if this thing falls, it falls. If not, you're gonna get a decent ride along. But uh let's see how that does. You get a lot of audio, not much visual. And of course it stalled out, so I got a chalk under the tire, so let me move that and try it again. the fuel pump. I'm not getting the fuel pump, so check that and see what's going on. Because if you listen, usually when I turn the key, you should be able to hear it priming right now. 
There's nothing. So I'm end up calling it a night on Elko. I did finally figure out why I wasn't charging, so I got it to charge. But a result of that, I think uh, I have too much stuff hooked up to the positive terminal on the battery, so was charging, but it was not getting fuel. Fuel pump was not priming, so I'm about to figure out that problem. Uh, tomorrow, going to an 80s, 90s uh, car show, so I'll be able to get some more footage of more cars, probably just G-bodies, but I'll uh, see what else is up there. Um, it would have been nice to take the Elko, figuring out the charging issue, but where it's at, it'd been too long of a, or too far of a drive for uh, the initial shakedown of the car, make sure everything's running right. So I probably wouldn't have taken any way. I'm gonna take the Camaro. But like I said, it is charging now, but the fuel pump isn't getting uh, a signal, so it's not priming when I turn the key. I'm gonna have to figure that out. But other than that, it's getting closer.